If you've seen my first video of the Cobb Premier, you'll know that I kick myself for not realising that in its basic setup it doesn't actually function like a traditional barbecue and that you actually need to buy the Cobb barbecue kit to get that experience. So rather than wait a couple of months and then regret that I hadn't bought it sooner, I decided to order one straight away. What you actually get for your money is a steel grill and a bigger fire basket. Steel construction seems pretty robust, bit of flex in the grill and always good to have extra grommets. Whilst the small fire basket applies heat to less than 30% of the grill plate, the larger basket increases this to just over 55%. That said, Cobb recommend using up to 10 briquettes in the small basket and up to 12 in the large basket, so the increase in total potential firepower isn't all that significant. So what I wanted to find out in this comparison was what effect the grill and the increased spread of heat make to the cooking experience. To do that I compared the small fire basket and original grill without a lid with the small basket and original grill with the lid, the small basket and the new grill and the large basket and the new grill. You can't actually use the lid with the new grill setup apparently. In each case I cooked exactly the same food combination which meant a seriously repetitive diet for four days, especially as I cooked enough for two people and so I had half warmed up for lunch the following day as well. I wiped the barbecue kit grill with olive oil to give it a bit of a non-stick. In all four cases, I left the charcoal for 30 minutes to get going, then I put the grill plate on for 10 minutes before putting the veg on. In option two, I put the lid on straight away and only took it off when I wanted to turn the food over. I used Weber briquettes and I used eight in the small basket and ten in the large basket, which seems to be the average of what's generally recommended. In the interest of keeping this video short and snappy, here are some of the conclusions before the end of the main feature. Option one, original grill plate without the lid, don't waste your time, life's too short and the food won't be cooked at the end anyway. Option three, the barbecue kit with the small fire basket. Great flavours, but the risk that your meat might dry out. Option number two, the original grill plate with the lid. Really good flavours, your food doesn't dry out, tasty, but lacks that sizzle and that burn effect that you get from a direct heat barbecue. Option number four, the barbecue kit in all its glory. Perfect for me, great flavours, great textures, and it actually felt like I was barbecuing. However, I think you have to ask yourself whether you want to spend the extra money on the barbecue kit, because the original grill with the lid on produces great food. It just doesn't have that barbecue sizzle, which for me anyway, notches up the taste and the experience of having a barbecue in the first place. The right purchase for me, and I'll definitely get the use out of it over the years. And of course benefit from all that sizzle, whatever sizzle is. <laughs>